So after you've established a good working partnership, you move to focusing. And focusing is identifying what specific behavior you're going to work on and what specific change the, per the person envisions. Often in motivational interviewing, there can be more than one possibility for a focus. So uh, it's helpful to explore the different possibilities before you dive into one particular area to um, continue the conversation. So you might discuss somebody's weight, you might discuss somebody's tobacco use, and you might discuss somebody's medications. And in the process of focusing, you're looking to understand what a typical day or what their current situation is and what a change would be. So if somebody says, I want to lose weight, you might explore what attempts they've had with dieting in the past, um, what their diet is like currently, what their physical activity is like currently, and what would they consider a positive change. So losing 10 pounds or being able to fit into a dress. So focusing is a process where you're exploring what's your world look like right now. For smokers, it would be how much do you smoke? What have you tried in terms of um, attempts at quitting? And then um, identifying what's a successful change. Maybe they want to go cold turkey and not smoke at all. Maybe they would want to cut back by half. Focusing is this process of deciding on one one area of potential behavior change amongst several. So at the end of the focusing process, you could say you've talked about smoking and you've talked about weight loss. Well, of those two, where do you think you would like to go further or delve into more with me? Motivational enhancement therapy is often used in the focusing process. And this is a um, a variation of motivational interviewing where you provide the participant with some form of structured feedback. So maybe they have heart failure. With motivational enhancement therapy, maybe they've completed a survey of self-care behaviors. And in the focusing process, you're, you're sharing the results of the structured objective feedback and saying, here you identify that you're not um, exercising every day, so that's a potential for focus. Motivational enhancement therapy is using um, results from any kind of objective instrument, including laboratory results or medical um, imaging results, as part of a way of helping the person identify what they could change.